Here's the deal. I mean, year after year, people are setting New Year's resolutions to, you know, go out there, conquer the world and achieve these amazing, you know, these amazing goals that we all set for ourselves. Nothing wrong with that. The issue, and I think you'd agree, is that year after year, and we all know them, people in our lives, maybe even you, I've been guilty of this myself, set these these huge, huge goals, right? This year is going to be different. This year, I'm going to get fit. This year, I'm going to get healthy. This year, I'm going to get wealthy. This year, I'm going to do this, that, the other thing. Well, most, most New Year's resolutions, most people that are setting goals are failing. And I believe that this video is going to help you understand why. You see, old studies and old, I would say, outdated information suggested that we uh, go out there and tell the world about our goals. And we all have people in our lives that do that. I've got them, you got them. I'm in the world of, of training and coaching real estate agents. And every single year we go through a business planning workshop and uh, I'll have agents tell me that, you know, I'm gonna go from selling 10 houses to 100 houses. And, you know, I used to try to talk them off the ledge a little bit, but uh, the problem is they go around the world telling everybody about their new goal. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And they want to share their plan with everybody or anybody that will listen. Now, here's the problem. There was a study done by a company called RJ Metrics. And it's called the psychology of goal setting. And I'm going to link it uh, beneath this video. But let me share my screen with you and read to you what it says. It says, when we set a goal, our brain will typically pitch in to help. Now, remember, when we set a goal, that releases a chemical in our inside of our brain called dopamine, okay? The dopamine is the feel-good neurotransmitter. Now, further, it, it reads, however, there is one sneaky exception. Talking about a goal and soaking up too much praise pre-achievement can backfire. Receiving praise and compliments simply for being a person with a goal will make you feel really good. Very true. Psychologists call this creating a new social reality. The goal provides false, let's listen closely, false reassurance and lulls your brain into feeling as if it has already achieved the goal. This takes away any, or this takes away uh, your chemical motivation to take steps towards meeting the goal. Now, this explains a lot. This is why you see people in your life, you know, screaming from the mountaintops to anybody that will listen, you know, dying to share their plan with them. Why? because they get a hit of dopamine, making them feel good about the goal. However, new studies suggest that if you actually want to hit your goal, that you don't go out there any longer and scream from the mountaintops and share your goal on social media and Facebook to get all the comments, oh, congratulations, that's a great goal. I can't wait to see you lose all the weight or make all the money or whatever the goal is. New studies suggest that if you actually want to accomplish your goal, that you don't get praise too early on your journey. Otherwise, based on the research, and I totally agree, by the way, you'll get a false sense of, uh, almost like a false sense of security that just by having the goal, just that, just by sharing the goal, then you get the affirmation that you seek from others, tricking your brain as though you've already made steps towards accomplishing a goal where you have not. And that is super, super dangerous and could be a reason why most people that set these big lofty goals, it's not that setting the lofty goal is bad. It's about going and get, you know, unsolicited or unwarranted uh, feedback or unwarranted um, praise just for having the goal uh, is, is, is the thing that's holding you back. And so what I'm suggesting, which with much love and much respect, is that you hold your, your goals tight, that you hold your New Year's resolutions tight, that you only talk about these goals and these plans with people who are willing to hold you accountable. 
Those are the only, people's I, uh, only people I believe that you should be sharing this information with. Otherwise, I believe you're sharing the goal for the wrong reason, to get affirmation when you haven't earned it. And this will set you up to succeed long term because you're delaying the gratification, you're delaying the affirmation that you only get praise when it's earned. This is why you see people throughout the entire year set the New Year's resolution, they fail in February, they've got a whole new plan in March to, to go back at it again, they're done by April, and they're always you know, uh, out there they're the look at me people. They're always the ones out there, the loud mouths on social media. Look at my new vision board and here's my new goal, but they don't accomplish shit. They never do anything. They never take any action towards the goal. They're all talk. So take this, uh, this advice in this article that I'll link beneath this video and really think about this because when I came across this, as I'm doing research on um, the uh, human productivity, which is the business that I am, coaching salespeople and real estate agents, you know, why can't people hit their goals? Well, I believe it's from unwarranted, um, unearned praise. And it's exactly what this group of scientists found to be true. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Do you believe that you should be sharing your 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 goals with everybody, regardless if they ask for them or not? Or do you believe in the science? Do you believe in the research that you should hold the, the your goals tight? That you should only get affirmation, you should only get praise when earned. Let me know what you guys think. I, I uh, wish you best of luck in your 2021 uh, vision. And I hope that you do accomplish your goals but take what I said, think about it, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section beneath this video. I'll see you guys very, very soon in another video.